right, guys. Good morning. Second day, second day of the season here. Thanks for watching again. Greg here, Greg's on landscape. Got my RZ mask on today because this spring allergies get me. So today we got two spring cleanups on the list, two in the row right here. Start this one. This one, we're gonna do this one first. And I'm gonna probably push mill it because there's a lot of metal and stuff back there that I don't want to ruin my new lawnmower with. And then we're gonna come to this one. This one's a lot easier, so we're gonna probably just bring this one over with turfy. That's this is turfy. Got the mowing set up today. Got the line, got the 131, the 111. Here's the skag with the uh, pack and bagger on it. I'm gonna uh, fill up the PB770, old leaky echo here, with my no spill gas can back there. So let's get started. We're gonna start with this one in the back. We're probably gonna blow everything to the front and suck it up. And this one will just smell it as is. So let's get started, guys. Alrighty guys, we're back two hours, two hours later. Got the property all cleaned up here. So you have this area all cleared up in here. And I pushed them at the back like I told you because there's metal and stuff back there. So I ended up pushing them on the front. It actually looks pretty good. I don't know if it comes out on camera. But these 21 inch stripes are not bad. We got one more next door to do. We'll use the skag for that one because it's not as bad. But here's all the bags that we use. Well, obviously, of course, we'll take these with us when we leave. But yeah, this yard, I didn't want to film because I just want to get it done. Oh, this is a pain in the butt. I didn't show you guys the back, but it was a darn mess. And uh, yeah, I didn't feel like filming that one. So this one, I'll set the camera up and we'll film. I'll walk around, but take a quick break and eat real quick. But just blowing all these mulch beds out. We're probably not doing mulch and shrub trimming later when the shrubs grow and when it's time to spread mulch. There's a lot of guys do shrub trimming in the spring. I mean, I don't know. If we're not here, shrubs don't grow. Maybe they do where you guys are. But and I had another question. When you guys do spring cleanups, do you uh, trim an edge or just do the cleanup? Because when I did this one, I was just, I mowed half the yard where the leaves were. I figured I'd mow the other half to make it look nice, but I didn't trim. So, I mean, for me, it looks kind of weird because I didn't trim. But, I mean, it's a spring cleanup. It's not cutting the grass. So, but here's the back of this one. We're going to do all this, blow all this stuff out. Monkey balls and such back here. A few pile of sticks that the customer is going to burn. So, don't worry about that but yeah it's all this this one's not bad also me coming back uh looking for some work she's gonna have us stay in the fence this summer sometimes i have extra time out of school so i figured why not but yeah this will be it for today and then tomorrow it's supposed to snow for christ's sake but if not we'll have some more cleanups to do and sunday it's supposed to rain too but if not obviously more work monday it's more work Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I'm back to school and I'm off Friday. I got more cleanups and Saturday and Sunday is mulch jobs. But I'm going to take a quick break and get something to eat and I'll come back and do this cleanup. Here's the setup, chilling out. So yeah, let me, let me know if you guys trim when you uh, do cleanups or not, but we'll catch back up with you. This ain't living But we could run From Elysium And let it burn Let it burn You've got to know Nothing lasts
myself I never thought that this would be our end But it's nothing new And my lover's honesty I can push it back, push it back down if I have to If you want me to Cause we can What's left to lose if we Good morning guys, what is going on? Greg here at Greg's on Landscape. Thanks for tuning in. It's the third day of the season guys. We just got some more cleanup to do on the list today and I go back to school tomorrow so try to get as much as we can done. We're starting here on this property. Blow all the leaves out. Not too bad. More leaves down here. Uh, we're gonna cut it. Leaves, leaves, leaves. That's about it. Leaves and sticks and Back here, we're gonna do what we can with this crap back here. This is a mess. As you can see, we'll cut all this back and make it look nice and purdy. Here, that getting spiked on these branches. Okay, free. All right, so yeah, we're gonna rip all this stuff out. We're gonna cut these guys back. We're gonna trim, pick that stuff down, trim all that back. Blow leaves out. This is only a really bad spot. Everything else isn't bad at all. Some more leaves back here. There's a, some pigeons. Okay, there goes the pigeons. Um, so yeah, some more leaves. And something just hit me. I didn't bring the push mower today. I think the 36 will fit through there. We shall find out. And then what else are we doing this job? Let's see. All these leaves, 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 sticks. Blowing all these leaves out. And same thing up here. So obviously, nothing too bad. That should be about an hour, hour and a half, maybe two. But nothing too bad. I'll show you what we brought today. We got the V Ride 236 here. We got the PB 770. We got the old SRM 210 to trim some brush down and the KM 131 with the hedge trimmer. So that's our setup for today. We also brought the big barrel and the Packham grass catcher. So let's get started guys. I'm going to pick these sticks up and trim some stuff with my hands and then we'll go to the hedge trimmer and then we'll blow everything out and suck it up. Stay tuned. Alrighty guys, we're back. Uh, let's say three and a half hours later. Got this cleanup done. Took a bit longer than expected. A lot of extra bushes I didn't really notice, and took longer to bag. This is new to me with the whole bagging setup with the grass gobbler and such, or what's it called, uh, pack them. So I had a barrel that I usually dump the grass into, but the bag was kind of the bagger was bigger than the barrel, so it was kind of overflowing. I had the most spots over again, so it took 
probably an hour longer because of that. So I'm obviously going to go and buy a bigger barrel now. I did have another cleanup on this today, but unfortunately we won't be able to get to that. But we can just push it back, so no big deal. All in all, though, it bagged pretty good. I mean, I don't see any leaves in this lawn here. We got all the beds cleaned out and stuff, so... Looks came out pretty good. I'm impressed, and I'm really happy. Let me show you. I bought this 36, and it fit through my smallest gate, just barely. But it fits, so I'm happy about that. You guys can see... Good old 36 squeeze right through there. No big deal. And bag all that stuff up. So we're out of here. Left the customer an invoice. And probably end up doing it online anyway. He likes to pay online. So we also cut this hedge back so you can see the rock wall under there. Trimmed all the little monkey grasses down and up there too. So it looks good. I'm happy with it. Took longer than expected, like I said. But anyway, it's supposed to rain now. So no point in doing another cleanup. And it's 5 o'clock. So the one that we were going to do is to be pushed back till I'm booked next Friday. Either next Saturday afternoon or Sunday afternoon. The only next time's on free. So if they're not in a rush, I call them, let them know. They say it's okay. Since they're the last one to call me, so they're in no rush. But obviously I have school. And then next weekend, we got a build a drainage thing for one of my customers. Like a berm type thing, a swale. Then we got a couple of ones that are cleanups and mulch. We're going to do those all at once. So the next is all pretty much a mulching weekend. And then we're going to squeeze our last just clean up without mulch in sun saturday or sunday night so that's that as you can see poor skag is very very dirty i'm mostly gonna blow her off when we get home but yeah he's about half a tank of gas in the past couple days things filthy it's got like seven hours on her now so she's racking them up but yeah guys we're keeping busy we're gonna head home for the night now i'm actually actually I have a few uh, customers, three more that contact me that we need to meet up with, so I'm going to go talk to them and get them all squared away for estimates and whatever else they need, so we'll actually do that first, and then we'll head home for the night, so thanks for watching guys, if I don't catch up with you, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, we'll see you on day four of the season, thanks for watching.